Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Quick History. Today we're going to be taking a look at Joseph Lister and his development of aseptic surgery. As always there's a free handout in the description below and make sure you click on subscribe if you'd like to see more GCSE history based revision content. Let's get into the details. Whilst surgery was tremendously painful without anaesthetics, very few people died as a result of pain. Many more people survived the painful surgery but died as a result of infection from their body being opened up and exposed to germs in the air. In addition, surgeons did a number of things in the early part of the 20th century which we know to be tremendously dangerous. They would reuse bandages, they wouldn't wash their hands nor the medical equipment which they were going to use and surgeons would also take great pride in their blood and pus covered overalls. The more blood and pus on their overalls, the more prestigious the surgeon was the rule in the early part of the 19th century. This all changed with the work of both Louis Pasteur and Joseph Lister. Joseph Lister had the idea of using carbolic acid in surgery when he visited Carlisle. The sewage in Carlisle had been treated with carbolic acid and as a result it had no odour and there was no vermin that were attracted to the sewage. Lister wondered out loud whether this would work in surgery and began experiments. He began to douse his equipment as well as himself in carbolic acid before doing any surgery. And in 1871 he developed a machine which doused the entire operating theatre from the surfaces to the equipment that was going to be used to the surgeons themselves before operations began. Lister's work centred around three basic principles. One, cleaning of the hands in carbolic acid before conducting surgery. Two, dousing the operating theatre in carbolic acid before every operation. And three, using antiseptic ligatures and bandages which had also be treated with carbolic spray. As a result, he developed what we now know as aseptic surgery and was able to reduce the death rate from infections from 46% to just 15% in three years. Lister's aseptic surgery transformed surgery and allowed surgeons to conduct much more developed and much more dangerous operations but much safer. Join me in the next video where we're going to take a look at Elizabeth Garrett. I'll see you then. 